Hello everyone, how are you? It is B, and welcome to your prophetic tarot for the week commencing on the 20th of September. Um, everyone, I am going to be really focused on the big kahuna readings for all of my members because I've got a lot of readings that need to be done, so I'm going to give you two weeks readings in advance for Astro as well as IR as well as this um, weekly prophetic tarot, okay? So just want to let you know what's going to happen. This is going to be, when I pull these cards for the Rider weight. that's going to be for the week commencing on the 20th. These are going to be for the week commencing on the 27th, and I will pull individual um, element energies for advice. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that first week. I may pull clarifiers, you know, who knows? And so what's going to happen is that I'm going to stop and then I'm just going to start. Okay, so I'm going to record, then I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to leave the prior weeks available for the following week. You'll understand more as I get through it. I, I apologize if that's coming across not very clear. I pride myself on being somewhat clear. Okay, so let's just get started. This is going to be for the week commencing on the 20th of September, 2021. What are the energies we are going to be dealing with? These energies could be coming at us. They could be coming from us. Uh, they could actually be going on around us and we're simply observing these energies. So let's see what we're getting here. I could also get prophetic downloads for individual signs as well, so please be aware of that. Let's go ahead and put some prayers over the deck, please. Okay, cutting the deck. Again, thank you all for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Really do appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and go to the link below for uh, getting a consultation with me, being a member on my website, donations, merchandise. Okay, that's all at the link below, the links below. Okay, and make sure you give me a thumbs up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start. I'm actually going to be pulling four cards for this week, not just three, because I'm not doing the dual reading, okay? So let's go ahead and let's get started. This is the first card, the second card, the third card, and the fourth card. If I do need to clarify, I will be pulling from the Rider weight. the next card on top here, all right? Looks like everything is good here as far as the view. I think I could probably bring it down just a tad yet, get it a little bit closer. Hopefully that will help. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get started. The first card for the week commencing September 20th is the Ten of Wands. Uh, someone has a lot on their plate. This is carrying a burden. This is almost getting there though. So this could be spiritual, this could be physical, this could even be um, mentally as well. Having a lot of mental burden. Maybe you've got to get a lot done in a very little bit little time. Maybe you are constantly having to um, think a lot on your feet. This could also be the burden of holding several different projects at one time, which can also be taxing. This could be uh, a burden as in something that you have agreed to do that now you must carry until the end. This is not something that can just be dumped because you're going to have to go back and carry it all over again. So make sure that you're not just walking away from what needs to be addressed in your life. Whatever it is, whatever burden you're carrying, whether spiritual, physical, or mental. You can't just drop it. You have to finish the job. 
This might be about someone needing to finish a job. Someone is basically saying to somebody else, look, you know, I've been, I've been patient enough. Let's get this job finished. Okay, this needs to get finished. This could be a job at home. Uh, this could be a job at work. Whatever it is, the job needs to be finished. You're going to be hearing that. Let's get this job finished. But we'll see what they're about to walk into because this is at the beginning stage. So what is it that they're truly walking into? What is it that the true burden is? Okay, this is a 10. This could have to do with a Capricorn, a Libra, or a Scorpio person. This could have to do with status and career. But it could also have to do with the gathering of souls. Okay, so status and career is more of spiritual type of a definition. But to me, the 10 energy, uh, as far as, you know, godlike energy is more about pulling in the energy of the gathering of souls, vibing with the right tribe, so to speak. But the thing about it is, is it's hard work. Okay, so that is the energy coming through here. What is the next card? The Hierophant. Oh, interesting. Take a look at that. Someone is being stalemated. Someone is not going to be able to finish the job, whatever this may be. This could have something to do with um, a spiritual advisor, a spiritual uh, leader, a bishop, something like that. This could have something to do with subjugation. Because look, these are his subjects. And he's like, listen to me, listen to what I do, listen to what I say. You must follow me now. Okay? The thing about this is, is he's putting a stop to the burden. I knew something was coming up like this. I could feel it. Like this could go two different ways. This could be somebody is making a decision to say, stop. This will no longer continue. This will no longer be part of the burden that everybody carries. This could be, like I said, a spiritual leader that's coming in and saying, look, we must eliminate. Eliminate. We must put an end to the burden. But this could also be somebody carrying a burden towards this leader. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> this could be a burden that is being hoisted upon a decision maker, not realizing the level of work that has to be done. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. This is a lot of work, whatever it is, and literally it cannot be done. It's almost like this person saying to these two little, you know, people who are subjugated in front of him, basically saying, make them work harder. They're going to have to work harder. Everybody's just going to have to be part of the team. And they're like telling him, but there's too much work. There's no way possible for them to do all this work. They're going to pass out of exhaustion. Now, this could be a Taurus. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, a Pisces as well because of the dual glyph signs of those signs. You've got two scales. You've got two fish. You've got two, um, like, sisters, the twins. The five energy is the fifth house of Leo. Romance, children, creativity, risk-taking, Pets, drama, being a leader, an open heart, a big heart. 
I'm hearing hospitals as well. The five energy from a God perspective is God's grace. So there's something that's transforming. There's something that's being created. There's something that some sort of burden that's coming through for a lesson to be learned by the decision maker, I believe. Or this decision maker or this person who decided to take on a burden to serve maybe as a spiritual leader, as you know, an institutional leader or whatever, they decided to take on that burden. They're telling people, no, you will not. I just heard like, literally, let my people free or let my people go. Like the way it was, you know, in the Bible. When God said, let my people go. I'm hearing that. So whatever that means to you, that's what's coming through here. Let my people go. Leave them alone. Stop burdening them. We will no longer accept this. This person has the keys to some sort of dual type of energy. Because you got two keys here. Okay. And each of these keys opens up a certain door in a certain way. There's a lot of duality here, meaning there's a lot of parallel things going on. As it relates to maybe a solution for something. The five is also May. Again, this could be Taurus. This could be Gemini. Okay, let's continue. Aha. The Four of Cups. Boredom. Stubbornness. Someone feeling like it's never going to change. They're stuck on these three cups that are doing nothing. They're just sitting there. Now, if we think about the Three of Cups, we think about Celebration, people getting together, having fun, uh, feeling alive, dancing, social get-togethers. So here comes this gift, possibly from the spiritual leader. Or perhaps it's not a gift. Maybe it's a trap. Because it appears to me that this Hierophant is stopping this activity and he's protecting this activity. It almost feels like a pause. Like someone wants to pause something just enough to give somebody a gift. To be able to make an offer of something. And this is the Ace of Cups. But it is, it is almost as though it's like a dream. Like somebody's coming in, giving somebody a gift, but they, but it's like a vision. They get it through a vision. Like somebody's having visions or they're having um, dreams that show God giving them some sort of gift. God creator, however you want to describe God creator. This is also don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Someone is providing a solution, but some people are not willing to take that solution. They want this, but this is a trap. It's never gonna change. But this will provide a level of freedom, a level of joy, emotion, fulfillment. But it doesn't feel real for some reason. 
this is a four. And again, what, what do I say about the four? The four energy is carrying a burden because you're obligated to carry it. It's faded. That's the God energy. And it's interesting we have the ten of wands over here. The four, from a spiritual perspective, is all about stability, structure, foundations. So this could be some sort of new stability, new structure, new foundation. But it could also be needing to carry a burden because it's been faded to be carried. And maybe that burden is creating something to be offered to someone else. You know, like sometimes it's a burden, like an example. Okay, my mother, she, excellent seamstress. She used to make our clothes all the time when I was growing up. And over time, you know, people wanted the skill. People wanted the, you know, the baby quilt. People wanted all of this. But she was getting arthritis. But she would still do it. Because even though it was a burden for her body to do it, she did it out of an obligation of being a good mother or being a loving mother. She just doesn't complain. So this could be something similar to that. Someone is going to be offering somebody something. It was a burden for them to do it, but it is a true gift. Because there was some level of risk associated with it. A risk to one's body, a risk to one's well-being, a risk to one's reputation, whatever it is. It's here. The four energy is April, so that could be an Aries or a Taurus person associated with this as well. What is the next card? Look at that. Eight of Pentacles. Someone has been working very hard on building something, putting something together. This is exactly what I just described with my mother. Working hard, paying attention to the details, looking at the seams, looking at, you know, cross-stitching, whatever it was that she's doing that was she was creating something, a beauty. It was a labor of love. See that? Labor of love. And this may have to be worked on, whether it's an apprenticeship, whether it's building something in the home, making something for somebody else, being more um, like, what do they call that? Like sus, like sustaining, where you grow your own food, you, you build your own furniture, you, you, you're very, very self-sustaining. Okay, you're very independent. And so that energy is here, building more money, trying to put more money in the bank, trying to, you know... I just heard take money out of the bank. We may have to clarify this one. But that's what this is, is hard work. And it may have something to do with the eight energy. Now, the eight energy could be the eighth month of August. So this could be a Leo or a Virgo person associated with all this hard work. Or it could be the eighth house. And the eighth house is all about, and the spiritual energy of the eight is all about empowerment, power plays, power grabs, um, joint finances, intimacy. It's the house of Scorpio. You're going to be seeing a lot more about Scorpio come in. Trust me. We're just getting started. And you will see the dichotomy. The good and the not so good side of Scorpio. So this could also be jealousy, revenge, obsession, investigation, sex, death, taxes, rebirth. So working hard. Maybe some people are working hard on their taxes for some reason. I don't know. So that could be coming up here as well. 
The eight energy from a godlike perspective, however, is more about um, the sovereign self. Someone has decided because they had to carry a burden or they had to accept a burden. Maybe that they didn't want to accept or maybe they felt obligated or maybe they've got to learn a lesson again, whatever it is. This could be a labor of love for your self-improvement, your own sovereignty. This could be a labor of love relative to making yourself stronger to assist others. This is a labor of love, whatever this is. This is a labor of love. That's how I see it. And there might be marriages, engagements, commitments coming in. Somebody's making a commitment to something. Now, somebody is telling somebody to stop. This must be stopped immediately. Cease and desist. Okay? But... Perhaps it was because the work was done because of a labor of love. And because the labor of love was complete, other people are now benefiting from that. And now something has to cease and desist. You know, I really wish people knew how many layers we're living in right now. It's a significant number of layers. And there's going to be a shift. A big shift. And I'll tell you what that is later on. But remember how I said people are picking sides? Trust me. The cream rises to the top. And the recognition in the end will blow your mind of which side is which. It will blow your mind. I do want to clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Look at that. Labor of love. Can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. Love overflowing. Somebody loves your work. Somebody loves what you've done. Somebody appreciates what you've done. You appreciate what they've done. Overflowing emotions. Perhaps people getting emotional at work. Remember, these are overflowing. Look at this. That's a lot of work there. That's a lot of work there. Because it's overflowing. So there's an abundance of work, perhaps, for some. Now, with the... With the sacrament here, with the with the the dove of peace and the sacrament. This definitely may have to do with religion, spiritual teachings, Bible teachings, whatever it is. That that's definitely coming through here. Baptisms. Yeah, that's what I see. So let's see what's going on with the individual signs. I'm really not I'm I'm not really getting any downloads at all. Looks like this is the message they wanted to get across. I'm gonna start out with the beautiful earth signs. What's your overall advice, earth signs? Prayer of the deck. What is your advice? Venus, love. 
So you're going to be more amorous. Earth signs or people are going to be more amorous towards you. You've got a lot of love this upcoming week. The labor of love is definitely coming through here. Maybe you're doing odd jobs for your girlfriend or your girlfriend is doing things for you. Bringing in more love, bringing in more money, bringing in more abundance. That would be the fighter jets going over my house right now. <laughs> So that's what's happening here. Find out right now where Venus is at. Venus is in Libra. So find out where that is in your chart. What house is that in? Where is Venus transiting right now in your natal chart? What house is it? Are there any planets there? That's where this energy is going to be. Okay. This could also be um, looking beautiful. Um, new treatments for the face or just having a rosy glow about you. Libras and Tauruses might be of great significance to you. Earth sign. So just want to make you aware of that. That's your advice. So your advice is to be more loving. Your advice is to take care of, you know, the way that you look on the outside healthy and glowing. Work on being in the receptive mode. Allow people to help you. Allow and accept when people offer something for you. Okay. Air signs. Let's look and see what your advice is. Air sign advice. Timid. Timid. So Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, something has made you timid. Or you're making someone around you timid. Okay? So this is someone that doesn't really like to take risks. So what did you do, air sign? Are you more timid around someone? Or did you say something to someone which has made them more timid around you? Did you demand something of them? Did you overwhelm them? And now they're timid. They don't want to talk to you anymore. They don't want to, they don't want to you know, be around you anymore. They don't want to dot, 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 dot. They're more timid. Or are you more timid around someone that did that to you? Your advice is to not be overwhelming. Bring it down a notch. That's your advice. Now, your advice is also to call out anybody being too timid. And that may be you. So you can take it down a notch as this part of this advice. But this may also be if you're not taking enough risk. You can take a calculated risk. It's better than not doing anything. I almost feel like this labor of love air sign is you needing to make that final decision. It just feels like you need a little bit more time. And the thing is, is it may be coming the time to not be timid anymore might be coming in next week. Not on the week of the 20th, but maybe the week of the 27th. We'll see. You might be complaining about people that are way too timid around you. You're like, oh, dang it, man. Do something. Stop sitting around doing nothing. Get active. What about the water signs? Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios, what have we got for you? Please pray over the deck. What's your advice? Capricorn. Listen to the Capricorn. Or focus on status, career, commitments, loyalties. Your father...
oppression, suppression, restriction, rules, being cold, stoicism, suicide for some, depression. That's what Capricorn rules all those things. Reputation. That's your area of focus, water sign. Pluto currently is in Capricorn, retrograde. You might want to find out if that is transiting any of your planets in Capricorn. Or find out what house Capricorn is in for you. That might be where this is happening, right here. So let's just say your Capricorn is your eighth house. Well, then this is exactly what's happening in your eighth house of joint finances and intimacy. The house of Scorpio, a labor of love. Maybe a uh, water sign, you have um, a loved one, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. They're a labor of love and you're intimate with them. This might be getting ready to move in together, something like that. Banks, the government, hierarchies, institutions. This might be going on with that water sign. So that's your advice. So try to be more of the positive Capricorn characteristics water sign. Fire signs, what do we got for you? Fire signs, what have we got? Let's pray over the deck. What's your advice? Gemini. So fire signs, your advice is either to be more Gem Geminian or listen to the Gemini energy. To be more multitasking, possibly. To be more talkative, more gregarious, more social. Possibly look at a contract, an agreement, a negotiation. Pay attention to social media. Siblings, perhaps. Maybe you're doing a labor of love for a sibling and they are grateful. Maybe that labor of love that you're doing for them will save them from an undue burden. Could be. But Gemini, there you go. Find out where the North Node is in Gemini right now. It's about to go into Taurus. It's at five degrees. So where is your North Node in Gemini? What house is that in for you? What Do you have any planets there? What's going on? That's the place where you can gain. You can work to gain because it's the North Node. Direction we should be going. Trust me, when you don't follow the North Node, you've got problems. That's for sure. Okay. All right, everybody. I'm going to leave this here. This is likely going to be titled A Labor of Love for the week of September 20th, 2021. I am now going to get ready to draw for the following week, the week of September 27th, 2021. And I'm going to leave these out. Okay. And I'm going to use these to help bring the story together for what we're about to see in the upcoming week. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.